go around the NFL Combine, you'll see plenty of clipboards and touch screens. But do you ever stop to wonder, how do scouts know what to pay attention to? What if I told you they were looking at a database that takes everything that the players were doing and breaks it down just like a video game rating? Helping coaches and scouts see who has the most star potential, picking up on all the things we miss with the naked eye, and helping them find the next steal of the draft. Well, that's exactly what this thing is, Combine IQ. Today, we're breaking down where it came from, why it's a big deal for teams, plus how AWS and the NFL making it free for fans and media could transform football forever. Welcome to FOS Explains. This video is brought to you by AWS. Historically, NFL scouting looked a whole lot like this. A whole bunch of clipboards and stopwatches. They'd huddle around the bench to see who could press 225 the most times, or they'd watch the clock to see who ran the fastest 40 yard dash. Every coach and every team would develop their own formula to try and determine what these combine results meant for a prospect. But they obviously weren't the end all be all. There were plenty of prospects who performed great on one part of the combine, but weren't necessarily destined for the Hall of Fame. In 2017, John Ross III ran a 4.22 second 40 yard dash. That was the NFL record up until last year when Xavier Worthy broke the record. Ross's time shot him up draft boards. He ended up being the number nine overall pick, but he wasn't able to live up to the pre-draft hype. So as the years went by, the NFL started looking for ways to improve this pre-draft process. And the answer was technology. The evolution started around 2017 when the NFL and AWS started their partnership. The NFL had created their next gen stats team a few years earlier. They're basically the NFL's in-house numbers guys. And they partnered with AWS as the outside tech people to help bring their projects to life. The goal was to establish data that could help the league make more informed decisions, whether that be scouting, health and safety decisions, or any other place that data could be useful. And it worked. Now the league is capturing more data points than ever before. There's cameras and sensors basically everywhere from the athlete's gear to inside the football. Thanks to all this tech, they're capturing millions of data points and it refreshes every 10th of a second. Problem was, this is a massive amount of data. So how does anyone even use all of that? Well, NFL teams had secretly had the solution for a few years now. This year, they're putting it on the internet for free. It's called Combine IQ. As of February, Combine IQ was available to the public on the NFL's website. There's a lot of numbers in here, but it's basically a system that makes interpreting Combine performances as easy as looking at player ratings in a video game. It takes every prospect's performance in the Combine, then pits it up against their peers and historical Combine results to calculate a draft score between 50 and 99. These draft scores are position specific too. So each prospect score is based on key traits for each specific position. And then the overall draft score allows you to easily compare the performances of two prospects who play different positions. Now this isn't necessarily a replacement for traditional NFL scouting, but it is a data-driven supplement that gives scouts a cold hard number for things that are hard to measure like athleticism. No more guessing if a 4440 is good for a running back or a defensive lineman. The context is built into the score backed by decades of NFL combine. A defensive back's reaction time and coverage drills can make the difference between being an all pro and a backup. With next gen stats, we can quickly quantify that quick first step or fluid hips. How quickly does the player react? How does that compare to benchmarks? So for an edge rusher, things like burst speed and bend angle matter most. While for a receiver, it's more about route catching and catch radius. From knowing how important a QB's broad jump is to a corner's agility, all the metrics NFL front offices use are now accessible to you. Metrics adjust automatically based on position, highlighting what matters most for each one. And you can even compare multiple players side by side with key differences highlighted, making the scouting processes more accessible. You can look at the tables and then different types of graphs and the player headshots make it easy to see what's going on visually. And if you're ever not sure what something means, there's all these little descriptions everywhere. You can even click here to see historical combine results, old draft scores, and how these players panned out. Clearly, Aaron Donald has been a beast since college. The whole site was built on Amazon's Quick Sight platform and the charts and visualizations were integrated in 2023. This dashboard has been available to NFL scouts for years and it's already predicted some draft steals. 
there's two late round steals that you could identify for yourself by looking back at the combine IQ dashboard. Rams breakout star receiver Puka Nakua wasn't a highly touted prospect in 2023. He didn't have a blazing fast 40 and had one of the lowest athleticism scores of all the receivers in the draft. But all the draft nerds were excited about him because of this right here. On the dashboard, you could clearly see that he had the fastest top speed on the wide receiver gauntlet drill. This data showed that Nakua played faster than he ran which was confirmed by his sophomore season. The same thing happened to Bills receiver Keon Coleman in 2024. He had the second slowest 40 time in a year where another receiver prospect broke the combine record. But Coleman was a top four prospect in almost every wide receiver skill drill, something that showed off his ability to create separation despite the slow 40 time. These are just a couple of examples of how data can open up new insights into how players will actually perform on game day. And as of February 2025, that same data scouts use on these studs is now open to the public. So what does that mean for you? The NFL Combine IQ dashboard isn't just for scouts anymore. In February, the league officially made it available to fans and the media. But why is that a big deal? The league is giving the public unprecedented access to information that was previously only available for professional scouts and team personnel. I'm talking about seeing the exact same dashboard with all the same info that your favorite team was looking at. The dashboard itself is a new way to consume and prepare for the draft. I mean, think about mock drafts. They're a crucial part of media coverage those few weeks between the combine and the NFL draft. And they're a lot of fun. They're also completely created by the media. How that media members have access to this, you're going to see more reporters, more diehard fans be able to identify significant takeaways from the combine. The data will uncover new storylines. This means that we may discover someone who might otherwise fly under the radar of mainstream media. Maybe there's a late round prospect who gets more attention because of surprising athleticism or performance on skill drills that ends up flying up the draft boards. Is this year's top QB prospect showing the same athleticism as Josh Allen? How does a receiver's shuttle time compare to Tyreek Hill's? Maybe this year's draft steal is someone like Arkansas's Isaac Tesla or Miami's Sam Brown Jr. Two receivers whose insane athleticism turned heads, but weren't necessarily their school's top receiver this year. The possibilities are endless, but this dashboard has a chance to transform how people talk about the combine. And as a result, it might just make the buildup between the combine and the draft more interesting. This Combine IQ dashboard and next-gen stats have implications far beyond just the NFL Combine, too. Next-gen stats are already used throughout the regular season. They're even being used to help the league gather health and safety data that influences rule changes. But what interests me the most is whether this opens up like an analytics era type revolution in the NFL, the same way we saw in the NBA over the past two decades. We saw the rise of analytics essentially get rid of the mid-range shot in basketball. Coaches like Mike D'Antoni design offenses specifically around threes and layups, changing the pacing of the game and prioritizing new skill sets. It used to be rare to find a big man that could step outside the arc, but now almost every player can shoot a three and space the floor. So will democratizing this data create a similar trend in the NFL? Do numbers gurus start finding a stat or traits in players that changes the way teams draft or play? The draft score visualization system opens up exciting possibilities for additional development, and it means fans will likely start seeing new ways to interpret the same old statistics, making it easier to compare stars and teams across the league. But what do you think of the dashboard? What does it mean for the future of the NFL in your eyes? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, and make sure to like and subscribe for more on the business of sports.